Hey everyone, welcome back to the Buddy Fund podcast series. My name is Jamie Burdish. I'm an intern with the Buddy Fund. Today, I have a really exciting interview to share with you guys. I sat down with Tom Wazilowski and Corey Lasher, and uh, those are two members of the Buddy Fund and what they call the Buddy Fund Young Leaders. It's an organization that allows young leaders to basically get themselves out there and help out the community. But we're going to get into that. They're going to share their stories, uh, what the Buddy Fund Young Leaders is, and the exciting event that they have coming up on July 22nd. So you guys are going to get a chance to learn about that event, what uh, Buddy Fund Young Leaders is, and all that great information. So thank you again for all the support. And without further ado, let's get right into it. All right. So to get things kicked off, can you introduce yourself to the viewers, kind of who you are and how you got involved in the Buddy Fund and what it is that you do with the Buddy Fund organization? For sure. Yeah, uh, I'm Tom Wazilowski. Uh I grew up in St. Louis from Florissant, Missouri. Um, went to grade school local, went to DeSmet Jesuit High School, graduated from Mizzou, some kind of Missouri through and through. Uh, I joined the operations board for the Buddy Fund back in 2016. So I've been a part of this organization for about five years. Um, I love it. We're growing every day. Um, kind of the thing I'm doing now is trying to promote the Buddy Fund Young Leaders, which we'll get into in a little bit. But uh, that's kind of how I got Corey involved. Corey, kind of introduce yourself. So uh, I'm Corey Lesher. I've been a part of the Buddy Fund for about, I would say, five years as well. But I only did the golf committee in the beginning while Thomas was on the operational board. Uh, I joined the operations board about two years ago. Uh, been part of the allocation committee now. Uh, I'm helping lead that up. Uh, and now I'm also um, got a committee piece in the golf committee as well now. So been doing that since Thomas brought me aboard in one meeting that we had at Shafley's Brewery. Shafley's, yeah, Shafley's, Shafley's first and then, started, yeah. yeah, that's when all that broke loose for me. Uh, and that's what I think this event that we're about to be talking about is a big deal, in my opinion. So what is the Buddy Fund Young Leaders? Can you give the viewers an overview of the organization, kind of what they do, and how it's beneficial to our community? Yeah, so we, it kind of originated a few years ago. Uh, Ann Lederman and I, she's the executive director for the Buddy Fund, um, just kind of, kind of started spitballing. How can we diversify our operational board? How can we get younger people involved? So when I joined, I was the youngest guy by probably 10, 15 years, so I kind of felt out of place. Um, so what my goal was to do is get a few friends that were kind of wanted to give back to the community they grew up in. Uh, that's where kind of Corey came in. But uh, we had a, our first event two years ago with Felix's Pizza Pub, just kind of really had no idea what we were doing, just trying to get our name out there, see if people would be interested in it. Um, but basically what the Buddy Fund Young Leaders is, is we're, we're getting young professionals that are recently graduated or been uh, working for a few years that maybe don't have the most money to give or can donate, but they can donate their time. Um, and as we all grow in our careers, we can start giving back even more. But right now it's really just about spreading the word. So when I have somebody that wants to join the Buddy Fund Young Leaders, I kind of have like, hey, here's, here's five things. Like if you can do these things, I think you'd be a good part of the group. Um, if not, then maybe we need to look for something else different. But I'm, we're looking for people that don't mind marketing for us. So I mean, on social media is our biggest, biggest marketing tactic. Um, so if you don't mind sharing some things, promoting us, um, providing contacts or people that you know that can donate, um, volunteering wise or money wise or sponsorship wise. Um, that's how the Buddy Fund keeps going. We gotta make money somehow. Um, I want our group to, to volunteer at some of the recipient organizations that we give to. So with the Buddy Fund, we, we raise money to buy sporting equipment for at-risk youth organizations. So those youth organizations, I wanna give our time back to them mm -hmm. so they can see, hey, we're, we're the guys trying to help you guys out and this is something that you can maybe be when you're older. Um, fundraising, I mean, just things that any normal charity you'd work for, any philanthropy that you'd be dealing with, it's, it's those things that I want people to do. So just looking for hungry young people that want to get out there and help the community. You know? Yeah, I mean, he nailed it on the head. <laughs> I mean, I honestly said everything you need to be said personally, but for me, mainly it's just get the youth out there that understand like why this type of organization is needed. Because um, I, I feel like a lot of people that join the board, uh, when they, like you said, participate and actually go out to these certain events, they kind of see some what the impact is. Because um, sometimes you sometimes get these donations and they're just doing it because they're hard, of course, but it's, it's, to me, I, I love it when we see these young guys that come out here and they're like, hear about us and then they want to buy into us. And you know, they'll come and tell us, hey, I want to join. And like Tom said earlier, it's like sometimes they might not have the time or whatnot, but when we give them this criteria and they buy in, literally, they end up helping out a lot more and seeing how good we do for the community. So the Buddy Fund Young Leaders have an event coming up on July 22nd. It's going to be a great event. 
you give the viewers a little bit more information on the details, how people can get signed up, and what they can expect from this event. So that is in a few Thursdays from now. We're holding it at the Beer Garden over at Anheuser-Busch. Um, we've actually been trying to throw this event for about a year and a half now. It was right at the beginning of COVID, so it's been getting pushed off for months. So we finally were able to get a, a date and a time for it. So it's, it's on Thursday, July 22nd at the Beer Garden um, from 6 to 8 p.m. It's $35 for a ticket, which gets you two drinks, uh, all-you-can-eat appetizers. Um, and it's really just a good networking opportunity. I'm not trying to make it formal or anything. Um, I'll probably give a little speech spiel on the Buddy Fund and what we're doing and why we're all here. But it, it's more just to kind of meet and greet different young professionals that are looking to maybe help out or can help you in your own career. I mean, a big thing with our group is, yeah, we're, we're trying to help the kids and help out the community, but it's also a way to build your resume too. So, I mean, it's, it's something that us as young professionals are always trying to boost. How can we boost yourself? How can you boost your own thing? So this does help that. Um, of course, you're also bettering St. Louis and helping out the area that needs it the most. I mean, St. Louis kind of gets a bad rap, but I think if people actually come here and see what we actually do, I mean, as a community, um, people are very prideful of, of what we do and what we can accomplish. So this is more of just trying to get everybody um, across St. Louis that kind of wants to have some fun, have a few drinks, um, some good food and meet new people. I think it's just a good way to do it. So um, I'm sure we can kind of share this flyer on the yeah. on the podcast yeah. or whatever. Um, and then you can send them no payments and stuff. So it's super easy. Um, we'll get everybody signed up, but if you're interested, just reach out to Corey or myself or Jonathan or Jamie and it'll be good to go. Should be a good time. Yeah, about the same thing about uh, the event's really important to me. I feel like social media is great and all, but when you get people in a room and be able to talk to them and just, you know, talk it out and see exactly where their head's at and where they think they belong in our committee or even if they think they need to join the board or if they want to. Um, but I feel like this event gets the people the foot in the door, then in order they work well, then they really want to move up in the, I guess in the field for us and our executive board or operations board. I feel like this event is where you start. So I feel like a lot of people that, I know we got a few commitments already. Yep. But I know a lot more people have committed, but they just haven't went online and didn't know where to pay and right. everything like that. So we're um, hoping between 60 and 100 people. Yeah. That's, that's kind of the goal. Corey works for Anheuser, so he kind of has the, the end there to get this event going. But I think it's going to be a really cool thing. COVID's pretty yeah. much done with. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's just the perfect time to, to get this rolling, get summer started, and have a good time with friends and family. So. Okay, great. So to wrap things up, I want to ask you both, what does a Buddy Fund Young Leaders organization mean to you? Why is it so special, and how has it impacted your life? So when I first started the Buddy Fund Young Leaders, I mean, it was really just me. And then Corey lived out of town, so I mean, he would help where he could. Um, but then we got Jonathan Babcock on board, and it's, it's been us three kind of building this. So like talking to people that we know, going on LinkedIn, getting other people involved. I think now we have 11 or 12 young leaders that are a part of our little committee. Um, so we're just trying to expand that. It's really not, it's not like, okay, we can only have 20 people or 30. I mean, let's grow this thing to where we're like, Everywhere you go, you're, you're meeting another buddy fun young leader. I mean, that's the goal. We want to be up there with the Ronald McDonald's and the other big names. Like, And we're getting there. I mean, I, when I started five years ago, um, we were making X amount of dollars. Now we're like four times that. So it's like we're just in five years, the income has gone crazy. Um, you start talking about it more and more, and people know about it more and more. So getting involved, getting our name out there. We're helping more organizations than we ever had. When I started, we, I think we helped out about 45 organizations. Now we're between like 70 and 80. So we're just we're expanding, um, and, and with that, we need more money. So, I mean, we can never have enough. That's what we always say. So fundraising is always the biggest thing. Um, so we're always trying to find sponsors and all that stuff. So w without, without our group, the Buddy Fund or the Young Leaders, th these kids don't have places to go. They don't have equipment that's going to kind of keep them out of the streets or kind of keep them away from the harsh realities that a lot of these kids have to grow up with. So um, I, I just try to stress that to people, like, hey, I know a lot of us are very fortunate and when we grew up and um, – like we're just very we're fortunate. So a lot of these kids aren't. So just try to think about that for giving your a few hours or a few bucks of your of your money to to help these kids out. It really goes a long way. So it's you're making an impact on kids that live and you see every day. So it's it's impactful. Yeah, for me, it's uh, being a part of the allocation committee, which I think Buddy Fund Young Leaders is a big deal because giving the talk to these organizations that really need these equipment, the grants, and talking to them and seeing that. They get to reapply and it's just not a one-time piece uh, i believe it really means a lot to them because you can hear them over the phone jumping up screaming <laughs> and, you know saying how happy and fortunate they are to have this opportunity and honestly it's fortunate for us to be able to 
deal with it and help out these organizations and see the impact that we have in these committees. Um, being able to be a soccer former soccer player in St. Louis, I had some reach in Scott Gallagher, and now we got them on board. Kale was able to get some contacts with Blue Fuse, now they're on board. And due to the fact that how big we're growing here as a Buddy Fund, and now Buddy Fund Young Leaders, this is brand new, which I think is going to be a big deal for the future. Um, Tom is heading it up. Me, Jonathan, I feel like if we get this going, we, you know, the sky's the limit when it comes to like in the beginning. They were at this X amount of dollars. Now they're at four times. And now I think us, we are the group that are going to be able to make it to the four times, four times, four times. So I really believe this is a great opportunity to start uh, in this event that we're going to have at the Beer Garden in House of Bush, July 22nd on a Thursday for a great happy hour, great networking event. And um, I hope we can see a bunch of people there. So, Let's go. Yeah. All right, so that's going to do it for us on another episode of the Buddy Fun Podcast Series. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We really appreciate your support. We hope that you got a chance to learn about the Buddy Fun Young Leaders and about Tom and Corey's story. They have a great upcoming event, as you learned about in this episode. Feel free to sign up for that. It's a great way to not only network, but to get yourself out in the community and make an impact. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll be back with you guys very soon with another episode. Thank you.